Hi right, everyone, hope you are. This is Coins Kid. It's going to dive into Bitcoin once again. Thanks for your support. Okay, big up the Coins Kid crew. Honestly, thank you for your support across this channel. Okay, since I've created this video channel, um, I think when did I actually create it? I actually created this in 2019. Um, I thought I'd put a couple of videos out there. They were warmly received, but then obviously my life got really busy, and uh, I've got another business as well, web development business that I do take care of. And that take took over basically. I was extremely busy with that, and then I just sort of jumped back into making videos. I think uh, March or something of this year, and then the channel obviously exploded. It was warmly received, which is great. And this is where we are. We're, you know, at this point in the moment, we're, we're at this point in time, and you know, our, cra our, our paths have crossed basically. And hopefully, you know, the stories that I tell you find an insightful. They're not always going to come true, and they're not always going to be wrong. <laughs> it is just flip a coin. Do you know what I mean? A lot, a lot of TA is it up and down sideways whatever but you know you've got to have projections and these are our projections basically for bitcoin the 2.272 you know on the larger time frame up to 200k also the elliott wave theory that we've got going on the cards here and everything so far is looking relatively healthy isn't it it's doing really really well you're fully aware though you are fully aware that from yesterday's video there is something called a dead cat bounce okay so we do have a key level of resistance we do need to see bitcoin break obviously um and that you're fully aware of that the 050 here and most importantly okay it, if you're just waiting for a confirmation statement of this reversal that bitcoin's going through right now because you're fully aware you could you could enter a bear market here you know not feeding you no spiel but the minute you're not in a bear market i will keep saying that okay you're not in a bear market but you still could enter a bear market okay if you come up and you get rejected and you start to come down you form a lower low then effectively you rolled over at a dead cat bounce and you continue with the trend and you're rolling over and entering that multi-year month bear market whatever but the fundamentals and the technicals of bitcoin are bullish they always have been and until we get those signals okay and we start to paint particular patterns in the charts then we're still bullish and we're looking for continuation here and this is the transparency of this particular event right now that's going on with bitcoin okay we're looking at this way four pullback we're looking at continuation of this ball one to wave five things are starting to turn a corner here for for crypto and uh it looks potentially as though a lot of the projects have bottomed out we're starting to paint buy and go to the beach signals from coins kid on the daily time frame okay you don't they don't come around often you know and when they do they, they, they pr do prove looking at the history of crypto even in rollovers and bear markets and corrections you don't get those sort of pickups and when you do because it, the, the correction was so deep you see that, that when you do get them they're, they're a massive signal for continuation again not financial advice but we may be out of the woods here potentially uh, of course you know you are going to run into resistance and i've told you this when we were down here and was rolling over and had this capitulation i was trying my hardest to find the bottom for you wasn't i i was laying down four experiments trying to find the bottom we did actually find the bottom you know hopefully this is the bottom which would be great you know but we're not completely out of the woods yet until we break a major key level of resistance here and those two levels of resistance we do need to see broken for bitcoin is at forty three thousand and forty one dollars and the most important one you know because if you're coming up above the golden ratio and you're breaking that there's a high probability you're creating something called a reversal wave and no longer a retracement and continuation wave because you're fully aware with this particular rollover here you know you, you're retracing right now you're retracing to a key level of resistance where you may run into it to continue with the trend i.e a bear market and essentially an a b c correction right there okay so it's great it's good we are getting a pickup just there and you know these are all the signals and the signs that we need to see for the confirmation of the bull market for continuation of the trend up to these price predictions up here okay so you're fully aware but one major key level well two sorry uh is this ratio here the 050 okay at forty three thousand forty one dollars and then obviously the most important one if you begin to see bitcoin come up to 47k 47391 and it starts to close the the daily out the weekly out even or whatever the daily most importantly the daily okay look at the daily target the daily if you do start to see the daily close out above that then wow you, you've got the reversal wave here and effectively what you're doing right now is formed a new impulsive wave because you come down you corrected you were tracing at the moment okay just like in any impulsive wave up or any impulsive wave down this is exactly what you're doing you were tracing to a key level of resistance before continuation do you see that so with that what you need to see is this level of resistance broken here for bitcoin back test and hold a support because if you do the probability of forming a reversal wave is greater than forming a continuation and, and, and another um 
uh, impulsive wave to the downside for for bitcoin just there do you see that so you know who says crypto is boring this is major major resistance that we're going to come up against now one thing i want to show you about this level of resistance right here i'm just going to drop the pvpr in okay now look at this particular level where we are right now okay now literally there's there's thin air between this level where we are right now and to the golden ratio so basically what i'm trying to say is you could see a mega insane pump here for bitcoin because there's absolutely not much resistance above and this is why we did fall down so quickly just here because there was not much support there do you see that we have the support level just there which we hovered on then boom capitulated right down to a level to a bottom which we gave you do you see that boom so right now bitcoin is basically on the verge of a mega insane pump up to the golden ratio now you break that you, you, the bear market is out the window the, the probability of a bear market is out the window and this abc correction is dust basically and you're looking at a beautiful reversal wave and then a new impulsive wave up to our targets which we've given you okay the 1618 100k and the 2.272 182 dollars 180 i keep saying 182 dollars 182 thousand dollars which will take us up to a wave five high over extension 2.272 up there at 200k which we're anticipating okay so it's crunch time basically but this pvpr this is important okay because it shows you where levels of support and resistance were look at this cluster here so just here where we are right now you can see we're in this gap boom there's nothing there it's thin air so right now potentially this could be the play where we fall back to a key level of support before blasting off up to tackle these levels of resistance just here for bitcoin so don't expect some kind of rollover and capitulation and a, and a deeper wave to the downside just yet we have to get through these levels of resistance and this is what we're coming up against for bitcoin it's insanely bullish i know it is and i know we've had something like dent 10 daily green candles yesterday everyone was expecting more downside wasn't there on bitcoin um, it did roll over to a key level of support yesterday which was really good it picked up then had a whopping massive upside didn't it yesterday to create that temp green candle look at that now right now there is another uh, pattern that's in play here for bitcoin okay so i did make this projection uh way back in early june as bitcoin was starting to roll over here i did see and this is this is potential play and everything i say like my thought experiments with they're all potential plays they're not financial advice okay it's just i'm just saying what i see and potential plays you know i've got my long-term targets up there if we hold key levels of support beautiful so right now uh way back here where you start to fall down everyone was going on about this massive head and shoulders pattern um i won't dig the video out because you know it's just bragging basically but just there you know head and shoulders pattern lose support go down to zero or whatever it was i don't i don't know what it was but for me i wasn't i didn't see that obviously it's at play but it was invalidated because it was holding the, the support of the two uh, 1.272 on the fibonacci uh, extension just there okay so right now there is another pattern at play here for bitcoin potentially potentially again not financial advice but if you refer back to the earlier videos uh, that i was making here for bitcoin um when we had this rollover and we sort of consolidating like this i made a video around about here early june okay saying potentially you know in the future we could bottom out here start to come up and hit this trend line as resistance fall back look bad but hold a key level support and form a right shoulder and with that we're forming a massive massive inverse head and shoulders right here for bitcoin so do expect you know potentially you know right now you are a little bit overextended everyone is expecting some kind of pullback aren't they okay if we do get that pullback and we do come back to a key level of support and hold it potentially crab a little bit come along you could see us potentially forming this right shoulder here which i did kind of foresee or not foresee or kind of um project in early june as a potential possibility once we bottom out down here start to pick up it this resistance line as resistance start to come back look bad everyone's shitting themselves again thinking we're going down to the zero uh, and and then this a b c correction is looking really valid that a lot of bear market callers are calling for but we come back and we hold a key level of support right there before making this right shoulder and with that when we break the resistance of this trend line just here you could see us carry out this massive inverse head and shoulders okay which would bring us back up potentially to the to the all-time high effectively creating that big reversal wave do you see that so that is a potential play i'm not saying it's going to happen but i'm just saying that if we do start to see a rollback and a big correction for bitcoin then
then do anticipate that it's basically forming a massive inverse head and shoulders which pro was projected by coins kid early june okay so it's a potential play but to invalidate that right now all we have to see is this level of resistance broken okay get through this 050 because you can see we're almost running into it as a level of resistance and potentially you know this is your dead cat bounce effectively comes back oh no it is a dead cat bounce it's going to zero we are entering a bear market but in fact we, we could be forming the right shoulder right there okay so to invalidate that particular play all you got to see right now is bitcoin melt that melt that come back up reversal wave if it falls back hold support fantastic you know we get on the daily time frame here we're on the cusp of a buy and go to the beach signal we've already got a precursor down here with a 10 cross in the 20 and right now we're almost getting the 10 cross the 20 this is super super bullish for bitcoin okay so hopefully you know we don't it run into this level of resistance right here the 050 start to come back and form this right shoulder um, and we do actually melt through here which would be absolutely amazing but you know we are a little bit overextended so do expect some kind of healthy retracement basically take care everyone be back tomorrow with another update bye bye